Hello, it's the 2nd of July 2015, which means that I am now two years on testosterone. And it's gone really quickly. I've just said to my son that I was two years today, and he really couldn't believe it was that quick, um, that that long time has gone. Uh, I, remember, I, I remember just before I started testosterone, well, on my second gender clinic appointment, um, and I then had to wait another six weeks. And, and bearing in mind, I'd waited two years anyway. And I was really, really down and hoped that all this horribleness of not being able to get pres um, prescribed testosterone and my life being on hold and being misgendered all the time and, you know, that, that it will feel like a blip. And it does. This two years is just normal life now, and, and I can't remember really what it was like before. So if you are in that position, it will pass. You will get there, and it will feel like it was just a horrible blur, and normal life is happening now. At least that's what I feel like now. So, two years on testosterone. Not great changes when you get this far into testosterone, I don't think. I mean, my the only thing that's really changed is my beard, I think. Um, you can now see that it is now long enough and thick enough. Um, it's joined up now um, enough to be able to wear. It's not perfect. Obviously, my tash is a lot... It's not thick enough yet. And I seem to have a very bald patch here, which most men I've noticed fill out this bit as well but I haven't yet but it's good enough it's good enough to be able to wear and that's all that matters at the moment um, I'm consistently gendered correctly um, definitely by strangers but then I have been for about a year my family even my mum who was so resistant at the beginning um, always even when she's not really thinking about it always refers to me as he, um, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't, I think, even my son actually, I think he was probably the last person who was really desperate not to call me he, um, does refer to me as he when he has to. Um, mostly he just doesn't refer to me with a gender. Uh, so that's, that's positive. Uh, what else is there? Um, my singing voice, I don't think I would ever get the tone that I had with a female voice, but I'm now consistently being able to sing at the right pitch. Uh, I, I sing bass in the choir. I'm getting more and more lower notes. Um, I think that's from using it and from practicing, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, I compete with the other two men. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a great uh, big choir, but yeah, there's the three of us in the bass section, and I'm definitely not the odd one out as being weird. Um, and I can get most of the notes that, that are, re well, all of the notes that are required. Um, and if, if it does go too low, it usually means that the other two guys can't get that low either. So um, they're definitely not the odd one out. Um, they don't know I'm completely stealth at the choir and it's it's really nice to have the, a place that you can go and make friends without people knowing who you are and being you know weird with you not not that most people are weird with me now but just just to know the only, the problem with being stealth is that you have to change your not so much change your history because we don't really talk about our history um but change change your the way that you talk about yourself so like my my oldest daughter is about to um plop out their fourth child so i'm going about to have my fourth grandchild next week in fact um she's being induced uh, next wednesday so this time next week i will probably have my fourth child grandchild um now when i refer to when I had my children. That's what a woman says. Men don't say that. They say, when my child was born. So, and I've had to learn those subtleties in language. Um, that's one example. There are lots of other examples where you just change the way it's set. You, you talk about things 
subtly. That's quite a big learning curve and I think and it's taken me probably a good six months to because I'm not worrying about changes in my body anymore or you know being recognized as this or or you know walking properly or anything it's those little subtle things like the way you describe things that and the way that a woman would uh, I don't I, I used to a couple of years ago when I was first transitioning I used to refer to myself as she sometimes I used to slip up um, and then I went through a stage in that's probably in the first year of transition where if I was going to refer to myself with a pronoun I had to think of it in my head but then I did usually not slip up verbally now I don't ever think of myself as a woman. It sounds weird. I, I don't, it just doesn't, it just doesn't follow at all. So now I think of myself in male pronouns. I guess it, I can equate it like if you, if you speak a different language. Um, at first you're, you're thinking exactly what you're trying to say. And then eventually, if you live in the country long enough and you speak the language fluently enough, you just think in that language. I am now thinking in male. And therefore, I don't, even when I'm, you know, in that sort of laughingly making a joke and you splurt out something before you had a chance to think about what you're saying, I never misgender myself. Which is a good thing, because it's very embarrassing otherwise. Um, when people think you don't even know what sex you are, that's well, what gender you are. That's a bit worrying. Um, yeah, also in that sort of vein, I'm I'm now quite confident in talking to my talking about myself as when I was a child or when I was younger or when I was a kid, uh, rather than when I was a girl or um, oh when I was. You know I, that, that sort of thing and and you know you learn you learn ways of neutralizing your history I think that's what I've done so I don't necessarily say when I was in brownies but I do say oh when I was a kid I used to go camping in such and such or that I was in a group that did such and such so you you sort of yeah adapting your history without lying or I know some people, they might say, oh, my sister did that. I haven't done that, um, but I've just adapted it to become gender neutral rather than specified. Um, I think it's it's more honest than saying it was my sister or whatever. However, if I'm talking to a company and they're going, oh, can we talk to birth name? No, my ex-wife and she's left. That... Uh, definitely do that uh, my ex-wife is responsible for a lot of things <laughs> right uh, the, it hasn't all been plain sailing obviously you know life still happens testosterone will not solve depression I have discovered uh, I do still get depressed days um, not helped by the local children who have decided that I'm a great target um, for abuse but you know they're kids <laughs> they know no better um, but the down days are not as bad as the down days were when I was pretending to be female when I was trapped and doing my duty as as a female human being um, it's not half as bad as it was no down days are ever going to be that bad again and so I know that it will get better and that I can survive that day and the next day is never so bad I've just been through um, probably about a, a month of being quite down um, and low but it's it I've moved on and I was never as bad as I was uh, right, so the last thing I think to show you is my chest, which I have now, I've now been, it's nearly a year, well no, just over a year, just over a year since my chest surgery, so I probably have the duty of showing you my scars, 
Um, they're still most definitely there, um, but I and I I now go shirtless around the house. It used to throw my my son. It used to blow his mind, but um, he sort of get used to it now. And the last few days have been really hot in England. Yeah, hot meaning 33 degrees Celsius. We can't cope with that. We're not used to any hotter than that. Um, but anyway, we'd all been melting, so we've all been taking our shirts off, and I've been walking around the house with no shirt on, and he's he's getting the hang of it. Uh, so, I don't, I don't think, you know, I think they have they've changed a lot. I'm I'm still really pleased with it. I mean, goodness, I'm being able to wear a shirt and just not have to have the binder. I feel so sorry for you guys who are still wearing binders in hot weather. I horrible, horrible, horrible. But yeah, so this is my chest. I'm really pleased. I probably could do weights and um, I'll take the whole thing off, shall I? Uh, and make it look a lot better. But I won't. <laughs> because that's not me. I'm just not an exercise sort of person. So yeah, I'm going to be... I've got... Uh, that's the other thing that my um, beer gut is, is coming. Um... I think that's partly middle age, partly testosterone, but hey, I've still got a full head of hair, so <laughs> what's the worry? Yeah, I'm I'm really pleased, really pleased. Um, what can I say? Do you know what? Life is bloody brilliant when you're the proper gender. <laughs> I think that's what I'll end on. I will make another video on two and a half years and another six months time. So take care, everyone. Bye.